What's going on, everyone? Happy Monday. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test or a flu test or a test for any other virus, I hope you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Monday edition of the virus update from for Monday, February 3rd, 2025. Well, we are out here in the wind and take a look. Literally, we are in the wild because there are some fresh turkey tracks here. Yes, check this out. Now, we had a little bit of snow yesterday and then it went to sleet and ended as freezing rain. Today is uh, relatively warm here, central Pennsylvania. And mind you, most places in central Pennsylvania right now do not have snow. I'm up on a high elevation. But given it did uh, precipitate yesterday, those turkey tracks are rather fresh. So that is uh, relatively interesting. Hopefully everyone is doing well and having a great morning so far. Well, afternoon. You'll see this in the afternoon. We're going to upload this later today. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do virus updates. And yes, on rare occasions, sometimes out in the walk, out in the wild, I should say, out in the wild virus updates where I take you on a walk. We talk about nature. We talk about the viruses and anything else. So I thought, you know what? So many people enjoyed my out in the wild virus update the other day. I figured, you know what? Before I go home, why don't I go for one more walk and bring you guys out on another out in the wild walk update. Now, I don't have a lot of uh, stuff for you today. Just a few things, but you know what? Let's just take into nature. And like the other day, uh, if we do encounter any wildlife animals, a uh, mask will be coming on. And by the way, you do hear in a distance, just a moment ago, that was a crow. Hearing it again. Not precisely sure where it's at. Not above me. So, let's see. We're starting a new week. We're the first week of February. And as for these viruses, uh, we're in kind of some uncharted territory, or some mysterious territory, I should say. And what I mean by that is, while some viruses have peaked and are dropping, some are rising, such as COVID. COVID has started to rise once again. Hey, hang on for a second. Hear the birds? I hear them, but I do not see where they are. They're pretty far off in the distance, so I think we're safe from being near the birds. But anywho, COVID has started rising again. And I've shown you charts, a couple charts, mainly New York State. Uh, I would show you more CDC data. Can't really, they're purging their data. Take a look, more turkey tracks. But, uh, yeah, compared to other years, Last year we had a little bump in the road around this time, if I remember correct. This may or may not be a bump in the road. There was just some really cold weather, and everyone was forced to go inside because of the fact that it was so cold across much of the United States. The West Coast, in particular California, did not really have that problem. California has a different issue, Los Angeles. A lot of people are displaced from their homes. They're in shelters. We've already heard of that leading to a norovirus outbreak. And I don't know. Could there be any COVID outbreaks or flu outbreaks or anything else within those shelters? I I'm, I'm, honestly don't know, but would not surprise me if places like that are having some outbreaks just because so many people, unfortunately, have been displaced from their homes and now have to Go to these shelters or different places. Or hotels, for example. Hotels are probably very busy out there now as well. So we are in some very uncertain times right now. As has been the case throughout this entire pandemic. And now with all the other viruses, uncertain times as well. Because as we know, COVID can do damage to the immune system. Not for everybody. Some people don't get it bad. Some people get problems. And some people, unfortunately, go on to have worse issues and pass away as was the case with what was it nearly 1800 people last week something like that yes there were a lot of deaths from COVID last week so with these uncertain times we're going to really have to watch out over the next several weeks maybe even if it's just a one week thing we honestly don't know we don't know if we're going to get new data on Friday or not but with these uncertain times consider anywhere you go right now 
to be a potential high risk anywhere where you're going to be interacting with other people. If you're in a place like where I'm at right now, middle of the woods, your bigger concern should be uh, diseases that could be spread from animals. And check this out. Look over here. Now, I don't think these are new tracks. I don't know. But looks like we maybe have some deer tracks over here. Quite a bit. Look at that. I'll zoom in a little bit. That looks uh, pretty interesting. It almost looks like they have a pathway going there with those deer tracks. So there may have been some deer. And you can clearly see deer were bedded down here this morning. And we're going to be coming up here on a field pretty soon. A lot of times there are deer up here, but... Uh, this time in the morning, maybe not. Usually first thing in the morning and around sunset in our field up here is when one would see deer. And you're seeing here that there have been car tracks. It's because several weeks ago it was a uh, hunting season. So that's the reason why you're seeing tire tracks on this road here on our property. But where was I? Yes, we are in uncertain times. Don't know whether we're going to continue up this week or if it was just a bump and we start going down. Oh, hold on folks. We have to, in fact, put a mask on. Yes, we actually do need to put a mask on. Because if you look really close, I'm going to be quiet. There are turkey up ahead. Take a look at the turkey. That is, in fact, wildlife. Now, you may lose me for a moment here while I put this mask on. Already, we are back now. Have to close this. I'm not real good with editing videos. Believe it or not, all our updates. I think I've only had to update to edit a few of them. Right, I'm going to be quiet now and walk slowly. I'll take a look. I, as you can see, here's again. We're not going to get too close because I do not want to have interaction. In fact, they're starting to go away. We'll continue walking and see what happens. Already, I'm back with you now. The turkey have left. Uh, had to stop recording there for a second. I actually lost the last recording. Hopefully, we'll be able to jumble this up and put it all together. But yes, coming up on our first deal. As stated here, we often see wildlife in this area. You can see some new trees were planted here recently. This is actually new to me. I've not been here in a very, very long time. Some new trees were put planted here. Some netting is around the trees, so uh, deer and other animals do not start eating it. That's a good thing. We always need to plant more trees. We've had some dead trees here, so might as well uh, have them replaced. Uh, let's see. Looks rather slushy up a bit. We'll just go to the end of the field, and I think that's where we will call this the end of today's video. But yes, as I was talking about earlier... We are in uncertain times ahead, and who knows what lies next. Uh, we could see things go up a little bit more and then drop. We could see things continue to go up. No one really knows what happens, and if anyone says they know what's going to happen next, they don't. We are just so uh, scarce on data right now. It's just totally ridiculous. Therefore, we don't have any clue what's going to go ahead and forward. Hopefully, what we will see happen is... The school outbreaks of illnesses will eventually calm down soon. And we will see less schools reporting that they have an illness outbreak and that they need to close. Because it is getting ridiculous. I've said this over the weekend. I have never seen a period where so many schools had to cancel class at once. Classes at once because of illnesses. Uh, yesterday, I believe I read University of North Carolina... Is dealing with a big outbreak of flu, COVID, RSV, norovirus, all the viruses. They are seeing a big uptick, and they have been reporting a big uptick dash increase. That's not good. Here's the turkey track from where the turkey just were. They went somewhere out this way in the woods. Not that I'm not really sure where they're going. Oh, there go the tracks. So they went out that way. They have uh, cleared the area for the moment. Hopefully not seeing any uh, droppings from them. I think we have found out recently that that can potentially be a spreader of H5N1. 
yes, this is where the turkey just were. They have safely passed. I waited for them to pass. Of course, as we were waiting, we lost the video. Uh, hopefully, we can jumble this up together. If not, there will just be no update today. But, uh, yes. It's actually rather warm out today. I think we're already approaching 40 degrees up here, which is crazy. Another winter event is coming for Pennsylvania and Mid-Atlantic later this week. That obviously will keep more people inside. Pennsylvania as a whole, I should mention, is doing really bad with the viruses right now. We're not in the purple. New Jersey is, but for COVID, for whatever reason, we've just been performing as one of the worst states this winter. COVID's been totally ridiculous this winter in Pennsylvania. I myself was a victim of COVID not too long ago. All right, stopping again for more wildlife. Fresh deer tracks. These do look like uh, they were recent. And keep in mind, I mentioned this the other day, this is a chronic wasting disease management zone here in Pennsylvania. But I regret to inform you, if someone gets a deer or whatnot and takes it to a butcher shop up here, they do not take it serious, from my understanding. They're like, yeah, we're not checking for that. Not good. I mean, I suppose the Game Commission of Pennsylvania does check the books, but... I don't know. Not good. We need to uh, keep checking for it. And, uh, and one thing that has been on my mind for a long time when it comes to deer, yes, chronic wasting disease is a big issue. But I think a bigger issue would be if H5N1 ever starts spreading deer to deer, number one, hunters will come into contact with deer. Number two, that could spread much faster between deer, white-tailed deer, or any type of uh, deer. Well, I'll take a look at all these tracks. Yes, this was definitely an active area at some point. But yeah, I'm very concerned that it spreads through deer. And that could be another way it gets to humans down the line. Or eat turkey, for example. We just saw turkey, you know. Turkey hunting is a thing in many areas. So it's something that we're all going to have to keep an eye on. All right, I'm going to close out this video now and turn around and start to head back. I don't want to walk too much further because I'm just trying to take it easy. My shortness of breath issue does still happen and it's starting to pop up. Now, all right, let me. I wanna thank everyone for watching this video. If you enjoyed this update, or, hey, you did see some wildlife. You saw some turkey in the distance. Give this a thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, course leave any and all comments down below i'm sure there'll be someone that comments and says i shouldn't have gone any closer yeah. i didn't try to get near them we walked over the tracks we waited for them to simply pass but yes we did see turkey today and of course this is staying on until i get back to my camp because uh who knows may see more wildlife Alrighty, everyone next time i'll see you will be a data filled update at home Thanks for watching and have a fantastic Monday.